Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this week's tutorial, I have a fun little animation, pulsing animation to put onto the Divi video player. I'm gonna show you that and also show you how to do it with some CSS. So let's take a look. So you can actually see it live on our blog. We've done a little bit of um, brand changes and one of the things I did was put this pulsing video player and you can see it's got, I know it can be a little confusing because I tried to put it on the thumbnail and I really had no idea how to make a pulsing look. But anyway, ignore that. Look at the actual one here. You can see how it's pulsing. Um, the idea obviously is to attract a little more attention, you know, get, it's like to say, hey, you know, you really should click this, you know. Uh, <laughs> that's the idea behind this and it just looks cool and it's just something that is a little different than the default. So I like to share these things when I, you know, come up with them and everyone can benefit that way. So let's take a look at this. So it's it's actually pretty simple. It's kind of the straightforward way where we're just adding a CSS snippet, but we'll talk about it. There is one thing that's kind of important and yeah, you, you wouldn't really think about it at first, but there is a default icon when you add a video module in Divi. And it's perfectly fine also to use that default icon, but there is one caveat, we have to actually click that icon in the module. So I am going to show you that. I have, you know, everything written in screenshots, but let me show you. Um, here at the, the code is a little different, so you can see the icon is white, and then the, whatever, pulsing ripple effect is black. So you can make that color whatever you want, by the way. All right, so I reset those items. Now, what I wanna show you is go to the design tab, and there's a toggle here, play icon. Um, you can set the icon color. This was in a, a, a pre-made layout. So what I need to do here is type in play or find the icon, whatever icon you want, probably one of these play icons. I like this one, but even if you wanted that one, let me just undo it again. So you can see that icon there by default. I want this one. The reason, well, I don't know the reason, but this has to be selected, otherwise, when you put a border on that icon, it won't quite be lined up, okay? So you can try and see what I mean, but it won't quite be lined up, so you have to actually select it for it to work. It's just one of those things. So that is step one. Step two, we're just adding the CSS class. Um, from this tutorial, it's PA Pulsing Video Icon. Open up the video module, go to the Advanced tab, open the CSS ID and Classes toggle, and paste that right there in the CSS class field, okay? So we're good there. Next, we have to add the CSS that does the actual effect. So you can see that here in step number three. Um, I also have instructions where to paste CSS. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna paste it wherever, but you can put it in the rightful place where it needs to go with those instructions. Now, I'll just point out a couple things. The code is basically just adding a a border, well, doing multiple things, but I'm saying the, the initial code here, like this right here, you can see a border 10 pixels, It's that's how thick it is, and then it's black. Now for you, you can put your own color value in there. In fact, on my blog here, you won't actually be able to see it very well, but that pulsing effect is actually like a couple shades of light green. <laughs> it's um, very subtle and you won't notice it until now that I've pointed it out. But you could do things like that. So that I'm talking about like these colors right here. They're actually um, a box shadow is how it's, the effect is being done. So you can play around with that a little bit. Um, now again, this is a black one by default. So if you want to make it white, you'll have to get the RGB value of white. Um, the other thing is we're setting the background to black, the border radius to 50%, meaning trying to, we're, we're making the border radius completely round. That there is one of the th reasons why you will need to have that icon selected in step one. And then we're adding an animation, we're calling it, you know, we're saying infinite, we want it to keep going, it's pulse animation, it's every two seconds. So then down here is the actual pulse, where that's our own name. But then the keyframe, keyframes are how you do animations like this. So it's like, you can see it's 0%. At 0%, it's, you know, 95% scale. And here's the color. At 70% of, through the animation, it's scale 
and here's this box shadow. And at 100% through the animation, it's back to the 0.95. So you, it's it's the yeah, that's how that's how the animation works to create that effect. All right. Anyway, you can customize any of that. Okay, I'm gonna just copy it now to show you. So I'm gonna um, while I'm in the page here, I'll paste it in my page settings. <clears throat> And there it is again. So it's that simple. Um, the main thing will be whether you want that color or not. Customize that. That's probably the, really the only thing. And and then like when you want to change the RGB values, right? So for example, zero 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 is black, right? So um, a little trick if you don't want to use other tools, um, you could just open literally any module. I'll just go to like whatever here. So what I could do here, like say I wanted to be white, right? I can come in here. And I could do this. You can see that RGBA for white is 255, 255, 255. That's as in an opposite of 000. So it's zero for black, 255 for white. And then like whatever you want to do, you can you can kind of use this to like grab the color value. It's just a little trick. I mean, you could use other tools as well, but all right, that's it. Hope you enjoy that. Add some little bit of uh, flair to your blogs or wherever the video is on your website. If you like that, definitely give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. A lot of uh, the viewers are not subscribed, but we actually do a tutorial every week related to Divi and WordPress. So that's what you get when you subscribe. So go ahead and join us and we'll see you in the next video.